Look at this. Oh, his bones are sitting in the bunny burrow. That's funny. Oh, poor bunnies. They have to sit there with those bones in the way. Hello, everybody. Ishar2003 aka Camden here today, bringing you guys a new episode of Niche Genetic Survival. Today, we are on our very rainy islands. Our tribe um, not necessarily has split up, um, but we are kind of divided um, at different points of the islands. We have over here on the uh, top left hand portion of the islands, we have a Nasi and the new rogue member we found last episode, Renair, uh, looking to find some mates of their own. Uh, to the right of them, we have. Uh, what's, what's your name again? Uh, Kukirnu, and also down here we have Anna, uh, searching for mates themselves. And then down at the bottom of the island, we have old man Dukir. I remember when he was first born, but now he only has four days left, so he's quite an old fella. Uh, quite an old nicheling. His dead crab, Dapper, he had a pet crab named Dapper. He passed away last episode. Very sad. Um, very tra traumatic, traumatic for him to see. Um, and also we have Kierduk, uh, kind of watching over him, uh, making sure everything's all right. But yeah, everyone is kind of doing their own thing uh, around the island. Uh, island Duke here, however, is still in full control of everyone. Uh, he does still have. Um, the authority of the tribe, um, and he is like the ultimate berry collector as he has been for his entire life. He's been like the main uh, food gatherer. Um, so yeah, he's kind of keeping his uh, tribe uh, supplied while they are all, you know, going out themselves trying to find mates and start their own kind of lives. Um, I'm planning on bringing all of the nichelings back together eventually. It's just right now I need try to raise our population because it's not getting low. I mean, it is getting low. Uh, it's not low, but it will eventually, uh, you know, if do care is going soon, then that means our population is dropping down to five niche links. And then if, you know, more of them uh, die off, then that's not going to be too good. So the plan for today is to go and try to find some mates for everyone. Uh, as of right now, everyone on the island is uh, related, except for when it comes to uh, Renair. However, she does have D immunity, which every other Nicheling on the island has. So there's no possibility that she's gonna be able to breed with us unless we want to uh, try to chance having a uh, double up immunity, which is never good uh, for our Nichelings, because if you're a long time viewer of the series, you know double up immunity never ends well. Uh, so yeah, the plan today is to find some mates uh, that have uh, differing immunities, so that way we don't uh, catch a common cult. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much, that, that sums up what we're doing today and what's all been going on. So, let's start a new day. Oh, did you hear that? I heard something. Oh no, and Dapper Crab respawned, or despawned, he just kind of poofed. Right there in the um, in his little hole. Well, we'll, we'll just say he he was buried. Uh, he's gone. But I did hear. Aha! This is where it was. I heard a barina. I just didn't know where they were. Okay, ladies. Um, oh, barina versus barina, because Anasi has the barina traits that uh, terrified me for about an episode. I've I've accepted it. I think I'm I'm fine seeing that ugly face um, now. But yeah. I think she should have a good chance at fighting this Barina if uh, she tries. The thing is, I don't know how to get her over to it. Does she have very good movement? No, she doesn't have very good movement at all. Um, mm -hmm. Alright, can I break this bush, move over, and claw him? Okay, I think uh, Anasi does have recessive hemophilia. I don't think that affects her. However, I do think we need to be wary about that. Uh, so does uh, Renair. Right, they both have... Okay, they both have recessive hemophilia, so it shouldn't, I don't think it should, um, affect them too, too much. Oh! Looky there, we took him out! Well, that was handy. Okay, I didn't know how long, because most of the Barinas, uh, do take a while to kill off. But I guess since, uh, Anasi, how much damage do you take, or how much damage do you inflict on people? 
Uh, four. You have four strength. How much does the average Nishling have? About three. Let me kind of take a look at some of our other Nishlings uh, down here. Uh, I mean, Duke here, you have four. Um, Kier Duke, you have five. Okay, so Inasi's not actually above average. She's actually pretty average when it comes to strength. So, I don't know. Maybe it was just lucky. Maybe he was weak. Maybe he, uh, ran into one of those cactuses on the island. I don't know. Um, but just nice to know that we don't really have to fight him. Alright, let's have these two continue to just collect some berries. Oh, wait. Kier Duke, you don't have any collecting ability, so that's right. You're... You are a little lawnmower of the tribe now, because all of our, uh, we had, like, a while back, we had quite a few, uh, members of the tribe that had a bunch of deforms paws, and all they were good for were mating and, uh, pretty much clearing the grass, so I think that's kind of, uh, what he's good for right now. Down here at, uh, the beach, we've got Anna, I think last episode we killed her, a uh, bunny or something like that, so she can collect... Uh, the remains of that bunny. Um, move along or along, uh, move along the shore. There we go. That's English. Um, all right, so she can do that. Uh, then we have. Can I click on you? Come on, why can't I? Okay, Kukiernu, uh, you are going to continue moving through the grass. I don't necessarily need you to clear it. I just need to make sure you can get through it to find yourself a mate. Uh, the reason why we have Anna down below on the beach is because, uh, I mean, in the past we found quite a few nichelings, uh, kind of going along the shore, um, of an island, and I thought that maybe it would be a good idea for her, uh, to go that direction, um, and then we have Kukirnu, who's going just kind of through the center of the island, uh, like Anasi, Anasi, we know, found some good fortune, uh, in the direction she was headed in. Uh, because she was able to find Renair. Um, so yeah, they're all kind of scouring out, trying to invite more people to the island. Um, while down here we have our little, um, we have Duke here, uh, keeping us, uh, properly fed. Alright, well, that was a nice, uh, nice day. We killed the Barina, we got some food. I mean, I'd say it was pretty productive. Um, alright, so, next day. Now, I was watching... Uh, some other people on YouTube play Niche, uh, just because I was bored and um, just wanted something to watch. So I was watching a uh, Siri Pixel Biologist uh, play Niche. Um, I've been watching her play it for quite a while now. Um, but I saw, she did a video recently where she like started a new tribe, but they started on this island called the Home Island. And apparently that's the island where... Um, what's his face? Adam, <laughs> the the first member of our tribe. He was uh, swooped down and grabbed by that hawk or whatever. First episode of Niche. Um, apparently you're supposed to try to get to that island in story mode. I didn't know that. I was just trying to see how long we could survive. But now I actually feel like we have a goal in this series, like a challenge to try to find the home island. So I think that's going to be something I'm definitely going to have to try to do. Um, in the future, so I'm pretty excited for that, except I just don't know how far I need to go in order to get to, uh, Home Island, so that's gonna be kinda hard. Is that a berry bush right there, the grass? Alright, you can just move along, and I'll see, just keep, keep looking, but I just need to find, find, uh, some nichelings, come on, there's gotta be some more on the island. Uh, we've gotta find some, do we just need to cl clear grass? Maybe does that, like, increase their chance of spawning? I would think, because most of the time when we find them, they're, like, coming through the grass, so I don't know. I don't know. Very, very strange. Uh, why don't I try that with Anna? Anna, you can come down here. Oh, is that a bunny or is that a nicheling? I think it was a bunny. I think you found a burrow. Alright, uh, you can clear some grass down here. Try to get some stuff cleared up for, um, we need to, uh, yeah. Try to, try to, let's try this tactic just to see if it works. And then I guess, uh, Kierdu can try to do, try to do... The, 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 can't speak. Try to do the same. There we go. English. Alright, next day. Alright, it's sunny. It's nice and uh, pretty outside. Alright, and the rain stopped, so that's always a plus. Alright, Kierduk. Um, yeah, come over here and clear more grass. Um, I need to make sure... Uh, we can properly see around the island, so maybe we could just do that. Clear, like, little out patches and have the tribe break up and kind of have their own little, 
um, not necessarily bases, but like their own little camps, um, and see if we can get uh, anything done in like that. I mean, we've never split the tribe up before. I mean, we've had adventurers before that like go out into the islands, but right now we're pretty evenly divided. We've got two niche links on each corner of the island, so I think that might actually be a nice thing to do. Or, or another thing we could do is try to go to another island. I mean, we didn't, we, like, not too long ago we came to this island, but we could try, uh, to go to a new island and explore. Like, I want to try to find a new biome, because I know in this game, uh, just because I've followed the development of this game for so long, I know there's more to niche than just the boring little islands we've found. Like, the only biomes I think we've ever, uh, gone to are whatever this one is like just maybe like a grassland or something like that uh rivers um just like the really common uh kind of habitats for the niche links like i know there are a lot of really cool ones like the jungle uh one i really want to go to is like the snow biome or whatever like, like that because you know i like snow of course but like it's just cool there there's a lot of cool um predators there not that we want to find the predators but i just want to see them i mean we can get rid of them if we, we, we need. But uh, I just really want to go see some of them. I think there's this one prairie that like catches on fire or the savanna or whatever. Um, it's just really cool, but we've never found... Oh, Duke here's dead. The end. Oh no, did he die and go into the bunny burrow? Can we see a skeleton? I don't think we can see a skeleton. Oh, wait, I think we can. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, his bones are sitting in the bunny burrow. That's funny. Oh, poor bunnies. They have to sit there with those bones in the way. All right. So I think it's good that we're setting up different camps now, too, because we do need to make sure uh, we can feed the tribe with um, Duke Kiragon. Kiraduke, you might, uh, you can't collect berries. So what I think you should do is you should, you should go catch up with uh, your tribe. You should go, um, you shouldn't be alone. No nicheling should ever be alone because it's kind of dangerous, uh, I have to say. Now, how many of you have deformed pods? Can you collect berries? Okay, Ana can collect berries, so that's nice to know. Um, we can use her. Uh, Kukirnu, I don't know. You're not near uh, a berry bush, so I can't test. Uh, but you are near a bunny burrow and a nest, so that should come in handy in the future. If we can find some mates, I mean, we've been trying for so long now, and I still can't find anyone. Alright, now for this, the tedious job of clearing grasses, because I need, I, I think, I really think that this is a good idea. I don't know why, I've never done it before, but I really want to see if I can do it. Kind of like clans, like warriors or whatever. We can form our own clans or whatever. But we're all one tribe, really. We're just kind of camping out in different corners of the islands. Like little, uh, communication points. I don't know. Just leave me alone. I, I just think this is a good idea. So, <laughs> watch it all of us die because of this. Um, alright, pretty peaceful. Um, islands, no, okay, it just says rain, and we have Duke here's death notification. Alright, um, I need to check all of our niche links and see how long they have left to live. Pure Duke, you still have a while, you're good. Um, wait, Renair, when did you take damage? Reduction damage, two days. How did you get. Do you have a common cold? Oh, it doesn't say you have a common cold, does it? No. Maybe that Barina hurt her. Or was she found like that? I don't know. Huh. I don't remember seeing that. Um, Anasi, you have seven days, so you're getting a little old. Uh, Kukirnu, nine days. Um, Ana, 11 days. Alright, so we're fine right now. We will want to watch, um, Anasi. Okay. Okay, I'm all cut up. I'm all cut up. I just wanted to make sure I knew what was going on. I still don't know how... Um, Renair got that damage though. Strange. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, I'll just I'll go along with it. Um, whatever. All right. So clear some grass, you two. Let's see if we can get any nichelings to fall into your camp. Um, Kierduk, like I've said, you're just kind of rushing to get home. Uh, with your family. All right. Ooh, look at that. Fishies in the in the river. I forgot. Kierduk, do you have any fishing ability? You have. Yeah, you have the ability to catch fish because you have a Barina Claw. Um, I don't know. Hmm. I wonder, like, how easy it is. Like, will it give me the option for him to collect fish or no, since he's not moves? No, since he's not moves, it won't let me, but 
Huh, we've never caught fish before, and we've never actually, we've gone underwater before, just like, cross rivers or streams and stuff, but we've never actually gone under underwater, like into the ocean, which I know is a possibility. Um, I don't know, we're gonna have to try that in the future. I think that'd be cool. Um, alright, Anna, I know you're kind of watching the berry bushes, but can you clear some grasses so you can connect, uh, with, uh, what's your face? I keep forgetting your name, I'm sorry, Kukirnu. Yeah, Kakirnu, that's your name. Um, uh, are you guys siblings? I feel like everyone's pretty much siblings on this island. Where's the family tree? Oh, a communication menu. Alright, family tree. Um, yeah, I think these are all... Oh, wait, not, not Renair, because she's the, uh, the, the little, uh, rogue we found. Um, but everyone else, everyone else is siblings with each other. Alright, so, we have the four siblings and, uh, Renair. So we have five creatures total. Alright. Sounds good. Next day. Another just peaceful night. I mean, I'm glad that it's peaceful, but I just want a bit more, like, action. A bit more, uh, fun to happen. Like, we really need... Ooh. Huh, I thought I saw something. I mean, maybe it was a bunny, but I thought I saw a nicheling in the garage. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just ignore me. Um, alright, so... Nothing there. Anything, anything over here? No. Just more boring stuff, as usual. Okay, fine, alright. It looks like, uh, what's, what's your face? Kieran Hook is, uh, nearing his, uh, his tribe once more, so that's good. Uh, let's just clear some more grass out with uh, Kukirnu. Alright, very nice, very nice. Um, but we still haven't found any rogues. Um, nope. Alright. Well, next day again. Another boring night. I'm just glad the rain's gone, though. The rain is gone, so that's a plus. Uh, Alright, we do probably need to collect some food because we haven't done that in a couple days. Um, but we are pretty stocked, I must say, so um, that's good. Renair, continue to clear some grass. Um, and then Anasi, you can clear uh, some grass as well. Alright. Um, and then we have Kukirnu, you are going to clear over here. Now, I do want to take a look at the ports. After we clear some grass with these creatures, let's take- Oh, 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 I found someone! Um, hi, hi there, what's, what's your name? Your gra the grass is kind of in the way, so I can't see you very well. Uh, ooh, what's your name? Ra- Rocco? Rocco, ooh, that's a nice name. Uh, let's take a look at your genetics, the Rocco. D immunity, darn it. Why does everyone have to have D immunity? This doesn't work. All right, ooh, he has big nose recessive. And you all know how much I love big nose, even though half of our creatures have this trait, but oh well. You have big nose, ooh, is this? Velvet paw, okay, nice, nice, runner's leg. Um, what else do we have? Oh, you do have a little bit of hemophilia, not the best fertility. But, you are a creature, and I am inviting you into the tribe. You will help us not die. Just die. I, I, like, just die. Just death. You'll help us avoid death. I couldn't, I kinda just butchered that sentence. I forgot what I was actually gonna say. Um, but yeah, I need you, basically, is what I'm saying. You're important. Alright, has everybody, everybody's used up their, uh, their moves? Alright, let's go one final day. Look over at that portion of the island where we've just cleared out. And we just like cleared out all the grass there and then we just moved. We didn't need that anymore. Um, okay, we can either go to this port or this port um, with these flowers. Like they all, all the ports we have, or ports, I keep saying ports because I've been playing Slime Rancher a little bit recently. Um, all of them always have flowers. Like that's all they ever have. Like, I, I want to find one for once that's unique and doesn't have, like, flowers. It's not a peaceful island. I want to find, like, uh, more interesting islands. Because this is boring when we just find flowers and stuff the whole time. Alright. Next day. And again, nothing interesting. You know what? I give up. We're moving, guys. We're moving over to uh, one of the, the ports. Um, we're moving the tribe. Ooh, another creature. Lucky here. Ooh, this one. This one's got uh, no derp snout for once. Oh, look at it. What's what color is its eyes? What eye color is that? 
I can't... Green. I don't know if I've ever found a creature with green eyes, or at least not as uh, wonderful of green eyes as this. And now I see how you falling in love. No, because he's probably a lot younger than you. Um, let's take a look at him. Oh no, he's only like one day younger than her. Oh, that's funny. All right. Uh, eyesight, not the best. Okay. Uh, does he have? Oh, he has the immunity. He looks so pretty, but then all of his genetics are awful. He has recessive hemophilia. He's infertile, um, and, okay, so he basically has two fertility, um, he does have T-immunity, why does everyone have to have T-immunity, ugh, alright, um, 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 I'll invite him, he, he, we need more creatures, I mean, if, like, inviting creatures is how we keep our tribe alive, I'm willing to do that, I'm willing just to, like, just invite him and kind of, like, cheat my way through the, through the game, uh, instead of having kids. Um, alright, so you you two, um, you derp snouted creatures, you just come on this way. And man, Raku, Raku has really good movement. Like, what's your movement? Or you have force speed. Is that what your movement is? Yeah, he has really good movement. Oh no, he can move really far. Alright, nice. Um, oh, I forgot your name. Oh, it's a girl. I thought it was a, uh, a guy at first, but no, it's a girl. Um, it's Rolana. Ooh, very pretty name. All right, Rel Relana. Um, we're moving the tribe this way, so maybe if you could help us move to this port, um, we would very much appreciate that from you. Um, so yeah, everyone just needs to move to the port. We probably won't be able to uh, actually uh, move islands until next episode, but we can uh, start making our way there to make it easier on ourselves. All right. There we go. Alright, so everyone should be good uh, when it comes to uh, age-wise. They should at least have a couple days left, I know. Um, what's your face? Uh, Nasi, you have four days left. So yeah, you're our oldest creature. We need to look out uh, for you. So all of our creatures are making their way over to this, this, this port here. This is where I want to go. Um, it's got a nice tree overshadowing it so maybe that that could be some good fortune some good luck to us i don't know we'll just have to see so i hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of niche like it if you liked it share it if you liked it and subscribe if you're new to the channel um and yeah i guess i'll see you guys all in the next episode see you later guys bye i can't control this camera uh, camden is meowed.